Thank you. Welcome to our Bible study. Thank you very much for your time for being with us to our Bible study. This morning, please permit me to read Psalms 18, 18. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. In other translation, the Lord was my support. May God add more blessings upon reading His word. We shall pray, Lord, thank you very much for all your favor given to us, O Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. But please permit me, my dear friends, to read first uh, verse 6. Verse 6. Verse 6. In my distress, I called, I called up, I called upon the Lord, and cried unto my God. He heard my voice at of His temple, and my cry came before Him, even into His ears. So please permit me to read seven to fifteen. This is the description of the power of God. Then the earth shook. And trembled the foundation also of the hills moved and were and were shaken because he was wroth angry. There went up a soak out of his nostrils and part out of his mouth the board coals are kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet, and he rode upon a syrup and did fly, ye he did. He did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his, his secret place, his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice. Hellstones as cold supply, yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and shoot out lightnings and discompeted them. Then the channels of waters were sent, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. So, my dear friends, may I read again 6. No? In my distress, I called upon the Lord. So, if we are in distress, we can call our Lord. And we can cry to our God. And sure, my dear friends, that he will hear our voice in his temple and our cry will come before him even into his earth. So 16, my dear friend, 16. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. So it means, my dear friends, that whatever our challenges in life, our God Almighty can save us. Because here, first permit me to serve. Read again, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. Then in 17, he delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. So according to some translation or version, calamity here is panic, no? So, my dear friend, if we have challenge in life, we should not panic. Why? Because our God Almighty will protect us. Our God as Almighty is our support. Our God Almighty is our help. So no need to worry. Huh? If we have challenge in life, never stress. No? Because according to the instructions, to the moral guidelines, my dear friends, is don't worry, don't be stressed, don't panic. But through prayer, with thanksgiving, we should 
we should tell the Lord whatever our problem is. And our heart will be guided. Peace which which passes all understanding will guide our heart and mind through Christ Jesus our Lord. So my dear friends, if we have challenge in life, never worry, but be happy. We shall pray now. Lord, thank you very much for your word. Thank you very much, Lord. And Lord, let your words be upon us. And Lord, please guide us for us to share this using our gadget, O Lord. Please use us mightily in your kingdom. Use us mightily in your O Lord. Most gracious and powerful Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we pray all of this in the sweetest name of your Son, Jesus, our Savior, Lord. Everybody say, Amen. God bless us all.